Welcome back, bookworms. This is Mrs. K. I'm glad you could join me. Danny heads out to the bay in his dory, a small boat, even though he's not supposed to go out alone. That's where his adventure begins. It's bad enough he runs into a school of bluefish, never mind a humpback whale. Let's listen as I read Dory Story, written by Jerry Pallotta and illustrated by David Bidzretsky, and see what happens. My mom and dad always told me, you're just a kid, so don't ever go out in the boat alone. But one night, I learned about plankton. These tiny sea creatures are invisible during the day, but sometimes, after dark, they light up. I wanted to learn more. The next morning, the ocean was flat calm. I couldn't resist. I pushed the dory out and decided to row to the big rock in the middle of the bay. Wow. As I rowed, I noticed dozens of seabirds circling around. Grandpa says that where there are seabirds, there are fish. So I kept on rowing. I looked over the side of the boat. I saw hundreds and hundreds of tiny shrimp swimming. I guess that the little shrimp were eating the plankton. As I rode toward the big rock, I saw schools of sand lances. Some people call these fish sand eels. The sand eels were chasing and eating the shrimp. I heard something splash and I looked over the bow of the boat. I heard more splashes. I looked closer and saw mackerels chasing and eating the sand eels. Then I saw them, bluefish, yikes! The bluefish were swimming like crazy and eating the mackerels. It was a feeding frenzy. Bluefish have razor sharp teeth. I learned that the hard way. Last year I put my fingers into the mouth of a bluefish to pull my hook out, zap! I had to get four stitches. I stood up in the dory to watch the show the bluefish were putting on. Suddenly, five huge tuna appeared in the bay. The tuna were chasing and eating the bluefish. I began to worry. Maybe going out in the boat alone wasn't such a good idea. The tuna were almost as long as the boat. Oh, those are big fish. I've been scared a few times, but I was terrified when the killer whales came into the bay chasing the tuna. I didn't know what to do, but it all started to make sense. Killer whales eat tuna, tuna eat bluefish, bluefish eat mackerels, mackerels eat sand eels, and sand eels eat shrimp, and shrimp eat plankton. I knew one thing. I didn't want to become part of the food chain. Help! Where's my mommy? Just as I decided to row back to shore, whammo! A humongous humpback whale breached right in front of me. But wait, humpback whales don't eat killer whales. Humpbacks eat plankton and krill, some of the tiniest creatures in the ocean. The food chain is really more like a food web. I should have been smart like the seals and stayed near shore. The harbor seals had sensed the danger and pulled themselves out of the water to escape the killer whales. Oh, aren't they cute? All of a sudden, a killer whale swam by chasing a tuna. The tuna jumped out of the water and smashed into my dory. Bam! Oh no, I was capsized. Thank God I had my life jacket on. Oh boy, wow. 
I should have stayed with the boat to wait for help, but I was scared, and I started swimming. I swam through the shrimp, the eels, the mackerels, the bluefish, the tuna, the killer whales, and the humpback whale. It was cold. I had water in my nose, but I kept swimming toward the rock in the middle of the bay. I made it. I pulled myself up by grabbing onto the seaweed. Just then, I heard my mom's voice. <laughs> Danny, you tell the best stories when you're in the bathtub. You should write a book. <laughs> Well, bookworms, I hope you enjoyed this story. I loved how we learned about one food web we can find in the ocean and the surprise ending. Now when you get a chance, go to your local library, check out other books like this, or go to a bookstore and buy a copy for yourself. If you like reading with me, become an official bookworm and subscribe. Until next time, bye! Yeah!